guys, welcome back once again. It is Mimo. So happy to be here with you guys today. Um, as you can see from the title of the video on the screen, we are doing some base reviews today. There are going to be Town Hall 8 bases. If you guys want a chance to be reviewed, you can send your base to base reviews with molt at gmail.com. Um, and in the subject, make sure that you give me uh, what town hall you are and what level you are as well. Um, and I'll try to get to as many as I can. Um, I have like 800 emails in there still. So uh, what I always like to say is when I'm reviewing these bases, uh, if you notice similarities between these and yours or anything like that, go ahead and apply it to yours because not everybody's going to get their thing reviewed. Um, so yeah, why don't we go ahead and jump into this. Um, this first one is, uh, his name is Harper Massey. Uh, he's in village edit mode, but I saw who the email was from, so I don't know if that's his in-game name or not. Um, but this is a trophy base, as you can see. Um, Town Hall is directly in the middle. Uh, one thing that I would change uh, about it for sure is the fact that the clan castle is on the outside of the base because if you're in an active clan, it's one of your best defenses is to try and get that in there into the middle, maybe where the Dark Elixir is, um, right in here or something like that. Uh, what is, what's going on with this? Come on. <laughs> Sorry, I get it. All right, there we go. So now we're drawing. <clears throat> um, so the clan castle up here definitely needs to be in the middle. Maybe move this Dark Elixir right here out or something like that. Um, but I would definitely move the clan castle inward because otherwise it's it's pretty much completely pointless being up there towards the top. Um, but it is good to see that you have your uh, wizards triangulated right there. You also have your mortars triangulated. That's awesome. Uh, so great job with that. You also did a pretty good job of switching out your point defenses, uh, like your archer towers and your cannon. So you have archer, cannon, uh, archer, cannon, archer, archer. So you doubled up on archers up there cannon so that's not too bad um, it's always good to switch those up because archer towers also do air defense so make sure that you guys do that um, overall the layout isn't bad um, there are a lot of uh, big sections like this one that can be uh, taken out pretty easily <clears throat> with just a couple wall breakers if somebody drops wall breakers down here they're gonna get right in here with probably only four wall breakers or so um, so yeah but overall the base doesn't look too bad uh, you are still trying to protect some of your resources, as you can see uh, from them being in the middle, but other than that, everything looks good. When you're doing a trophy base, it's always good to see uh, people put their resources out on the corners because you really are uh, going hard after the trophy. So good job on that, Harper. I wouldn't change too much. Obviously, you need to upgrade a lot, um, but for the most part, it looks really good. Um, the design's pretty, pretty neat, and it's uh, symmetrical, which is one of my favorite things about base designs. Um, so next we're going to go to Farrako Nightwing, um, <clears throat> another Town Hall 8 obviously. I feel like this, like I've seen this base before, it might be a popular one, I don't know, you guys can go ahead and comment on that, but I do like how all the way around it has these little traps for giants and other troops uh, to walk in and through with the spring traps and bombs, so, <clears throat> excuse me. So that's pretty cool, I do like seeing that kind of stuff. Um, I do that on like my Whirlpool base design, if you guys haven't seen that, check that out, I made that like nine months ago um, but so this is a trophy base as well obviously you can see the town hall is in the middle um, once anybody gets into this center section right here either of these they are able to come straight over into the town hall from all of these which I'm not too sure how I feel about that um, I guess that it's fine I'm not really sure I'd have to see it in action but I wouldn't think you'd want to give too much access to your town hall especially as a trophy base but um, that's just me otherwise it looks pretty good now your mortars are in uh, a pretty good place I might take uh, oops <laughs> I might take this mortar right here and move it up here to where that dark elixir is just to help cover that top portion a little bit more um, and then also the wizards don't look like they're spread out very well I would probably take this wizard and put it right here where the barbarian king is just so that you can get a full triangle around the base um, otherwise the base layout looks good but again I would definitely move that wizard tower right there where that barbarian king is <coughs> switch those two out and then um, I would move this mortar um, up here as well just so that you get a little bit more coverage with that otherwise everything looks pretty good um, the design is pretty cool it's super symmetrical which I love um, so great job with that <coughs> gosh I got something in my freaking throat right now um, but yeah, good job, Farrakhan. I like the design. I don't know if it's yours or not. But anyways, uh, we're going to move on to Swag Overlord. Yes, okay. <laughs> uh, 
Um, now you've done really well when it comes to upgrading your base. Uh, the walls look really good. Some of the cannons still need to be upgraded. You're working on this one right now. All these people are probably long upgraded from this point because of uh, how sporadic I do base reviews. So if you go check these people out, their bases probably look a lot different now. But <clears throat> anyways, here we go. Um, so you have a pretty good triangle with the mortar right there with the mortars. The top one is a little bit exposed, um, but at least the other two are a little more protected. Um, if you are getting attacked by a lot of air defenses, and I would definitely leave all those air defenses in the middle, but if you're not uh, getting attacked by air troops, then I might consider bringing this mortar in right there um, and just switching that out. Your wizards look really good there in a triangle as well, covering the center of the base. Um, and you also did a good job with your archers, cannon, archer, cannon, archer, cannon, archer, cannon. You did it perfectly, archer, cannon. So great job all the way around with that. That's exactly what you want to do with those point defenses. Um, so awesome work there. Again, your clan castle is in the middle. It might be a little bit exposed. Um, people can probably get it uh, out around here. If they just drop a couple troops, um, then they'll definitely <clears throat> be able to pull those out. But I mean, it's as center as you can get besides being in there with the town hall. Um, again, great base design. I like the symmetry of it. Um, there are some pretty big sections. It doesn't look like it looks like all of this is one big section. So that might be good to help patrol the troops around the base. Um, but once you get into the center core, that's another huge section right there. Uh, it does look like it's going to take a lot for wall breakers to get into uh, the middle of this base. So that's pretty good as well. Overall, Swag Overlord, I think that it looks good. Keep working on upgrading your walls, try and get totally maxed before moving up. That's what I'm planning on doing with my Town Hall 8. Um, and yeah, again, great job. Looks awesome. Uh, we're going to move on to our last one, guys. This is Jobin. Um, his Town Hall is up at the top. So this is a farming base. Uh, it's good to see the clan castle right there in the middle, as always when it comes to farming bases. Um, you have your mortars not really in that good of a triangle. They are in a triangle, but not to um, precise of one. I would almost consider um, switching out your mortar with that gold storage and then switching out that mortar with that elixir storage. So that way it's more of a triangle like this instead of a triangle like this. So it's going to help cover the top of the base a lot more if you um, if you move those up some. So I would definitely consider that. Uh, you've done a good job with your wizards as well. Your air defenses are in a pretty good triangle. It's kind of skewed a little bit, but that's not too big of a deal. Um, <clears throat> your archers, and your archer towers and your cannons are spread out again, just like I've been saying in all the other ones, archer cannon, archer cannon, so on and so forth, all the way around the base. So great job with that. Um, for any of, any of you guys who aren't being reviewed, go ahead and, and try and use these tips when it comes to the triangles that the mortar's in. Um, as well as the wizard towers, the um, air defenses, and switching up archer cannon, archer cannon all the way around. Because if you have all archers on one side, then one side of your base is not going to have that much air defense. And if somebody attacks you with a balloon minion or anything like that, um, then you might run into a little bit of trouble. Um, but for the most part, a lot of these bases looked really good. That's why I chose them. Um, this one has a cool little trap section right here uh, for giants and whatnot to come into as well as right here. Um, so that's pretty cool. You know, it's always fun doing that kind of stuff. And guys, there's no one perfect base for Town Hall 8 or anything like that. So I would definitely challenge y'all and, and encourage you to just build your own and have fun with it. That's one of my favorite things is building bases. I probably have the most base builds uh, on my channel on YouTube. I don't really know, but I've probably built like 15 or 20 bases and put them all on here. Um, they're a lot of fun. Some of them don't work, whatever. It's always fun to uh, just build it and see how it works and try new designs and try new layouts as long as you stick to the fundamentals that you know about triangulating things and whatnot. Um, but anyways, thank you so much for watching, guys. I really do appreciate it. Y'all rock. Uh, we're moving on up. We're going to be at 70,000 soon. Hope y'all are excited about that. I definitely am going to... Ah, I can't believe how fast we're going. Um, but anyways, thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate all y'all's support. Um, y'all are the best. I, I can't say it enough. Um, but as always, hey, make sure you keep calm and clash on from me, right? I'll see you guys later.